The cable car was created by Tony Abu Ghanim at the Starlight Room in San Francisco around 1996, and it became the signature drink of that bar. It was originally modeled after the Brandy Crusta, and these days, Ghanim plies his trade in Vegas. You can find him at Modern Mixologist on Instagram. Do you ever find yourself walking down the aisles of the coffee section at your local grocery store, wondering what kind of coffee to buy and not really knowing what you should get? Are you afraid that if you don't get the right kind of coffee and you bring it home, your wife is gonna yell at you? I'm not speaking from personal experience or anything. When then you don't find the right kind of coffee and then you don't have your coffee in the morning, you have to go to the store and buy really expensive coffee? Well, guess what? Those days are over. Enter Trade. Trade is a coffee subscription service that pairs you up with some of the best roasters in the country to give you some of the best coffee in the country. You can completely customize your experience so you can get as much or as little coffee as you want. If I haven't convinced you to try Trade thus far, then just know that you are supporting some mom and pop businesses making quality, quality coffee. And of course, it's a very easy way to support us. So all you gotta do is go to drinktrade.com slash barfly to get a free bag of coffee with your subscription isn't that a pretty good deal, Maris? Mm -hmm. And you'd be supporting a very small YouTube channel that has been giving you lots of cocktails for a very long time. Into our tin, we're gonna do one ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of curacao, half an ounce of simple syrup, one and a half ounces of spiced rum. Now, before we shake our cocktail, we're gonna rim this glass with a little cinnamon sugar. So what you wanna do is take one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of grated cinnamon, mix it all around in a bowl till it is pretty much evenly together. We're just gonna take a spent side of the lemon here and we're just gonna rub it on the outside. I like to do it halfway around and then we're just going to run the glass into the cinnamon sugar like so. It looks pretty clean, but I like to actually clean it up anyway and just create like a really clean line. I don't like to have a lot of excess sugar on the glass. So as you can see, we have nice clean lines. Give this guy a nice shake. Strain it into our glass and uh, we don't need a garnish. We've already garnished with our sugar. I'm just gonna give it a nice sip here. So it's nice and bright and tart. You get the spiced character of the rum along with the nice bright lemon. The curacao bringing in that just like little bit of dry orange. I mean, it's funny because people say that dryness is the absence of sweet, which is true. And the dry curacao kind of manages both sort of. I mean, it's like, it's got sweetness to it. It has sugar in it and it has sweetness to it, but then it has sort of a drying effect on your palate. I'm not really sure how to describe that in a better way than just kind of drier. Anyway, you get that nice orange character. It's curacao, which has a brandy base. So you're gonna get those barrel notes from the curacao, and then it's nicely balanced with the simple syrup. I don't want to destroy the cinnamon sugar, but I feel like I should probably take a sip off the side of this. I gotta say that cinnamon goes a really long way to adding in just another flavor profile, and you also get a little bit more sweetness. It's nice and sharp right in the top of your palate, or right in the front of your palate, I mean, from that extra little sugar pop. It's a great drink. I can see why it would be the signature drink of the Starlight Room. Here it is, guys, the cable car. The Cosmonaut was created by Sasha Petrosky of Milk and Honey, and it is just an incredibly simple and inspired take on a sour, switching out simple syrup for raspberry preserves, which gives you the sugar content, it gives you added flavor, complexity, texture, just a fantastically simple cocktail. It's gonna blow your mind if you have not had this drink. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, two ounces of gin, one heaping bar spoon of raspberry preserves. I don't have a chilled glass for this guy, but chill your glasses when you edit, whenever you serve anything up. Give it a shake. And you are definitely gonna need to fine strain because the raspberry has seeds. And the consistency is just so jammy. Look at that color. Mm -hmm. So balanced. And who knew? All you needed was some raspberry preserves or any kind of preserves. I mean, what's great about this template is that it's really good, super balanced, and you can do it with any type of preserves you want. You wanna do strawberry, marmalade, whatever you wanna do, it's gonna work. This drink is surprisingly complex. You get all the botanicals from the gin, you get nice bright lemon, you know, you get that nice citrus vibe, and then on top of that, you get the sugar and the added flavor from the raspberry, balancing everything out, making it nice and complex. And then also because you use jam, it has a thicker, more syrupy consistency to it. So it's got a little bit of a different of a texture than your run-of-the-mill sour would have. So there it is, the Cosmonaut.
What do you get when you make a white Russian with aged rum? The Dominicana, a drink that emerged in the early days of milk and honey, somewhere around 2001. We're gonna take our Cafe Lolita, uh, which the original recipe called for. This is a Mexican coffee liqueur, and we're gonna do one and a half ounces into a mixing glass. And we're gonna do aged rum, but since we're doing something called the Dominicana, I figured we would use Dominican rum. One and a half ounces again into our mixing glass. It's always good to crack a piece, get some shards in there. Maybe we'll do another one. Grab some other ice pieces, put it in there. Don't be shy with your ice. Give it a nice stir for about 45 seconds. Then we're just gonna strain it. We're gonna take some heavy cream. I like to actually put little quarter ounce of simple syrup in here to just to give it a little sweetness. And we're gonna expand it with a coil inside here so that it expands really fast. The trick is to not over whip it. So it should stand as like a bead on your finger. And then we're gonna layer this on top of the cocktail like so. A little chocolate on top. Let's give it a taste. It's everything that I want in my nightcap, people. Everything. You get the rum with coffee liqueur. The Cafe Lolita is slightly sweetened, so you don't need to add any simple syrup. It blends really well with uh, the rum. The Brugel uh, Añejo isn't super complex rum. You don't want a super complex rum in here because you're just gonna lose a lot of that nuance in the cocktail anyway. You get the rum notes with the coffee liqueur and some cream, a little sweetened cream, and there you have the perfect nightcap, the Dominicana. The Bourbon Renewal is arguably Oregon-based bartender Jeffrey Morgenthaler's most popular drink. Well, maybe next to the really uh, inspired reconstruction he did of the Armoretto Sour. The Bourbon Renewal is just a great play on a bramble, really illustrating how simple reconstructions of drinks can lead you to some really unexpected and wonderful places. One ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna do half an ounce of creme de mure, and this is the house-made stuff, so click the link below if you wanna know how to make it. And then half an ounce of simple syrup. Just two ounces of your favorite bourbon. I like to use the Old Forester 86. This is a rock string, so I like to put it on a big rock of ice. But if you want to just put it on some cubed ice, that's fine too. We're just gonna give this a nice shake. And strain. And for garnish, we're just gonna do a thinly sliced lemon, like so. Give it a taste. So right up front, you get all of those really familiar bourbon notes, a little bit of the oak, a little bit of that caramel, brown sugar. What's nice about this drink though is that then you get the lemon and then you get the simple syrup and then it's really balanced out by that creme de mure. The creme de mure that I used in here, the house made stuff, I actually use a wine base for it. So it's like wine and gin. So you get a little bit of those botanicals in the gin, you get that acid from the wine and then a lot of the complexity from the wine as well as you know, kind of a blackberry flavor. Really nice, very simple, complex cocktail. Very easy sipper. And you know what else? It's kind of ambidextrous between winter and summer. Like you can do it any time of the year, really. So there it is, the bourbon renewal. The Old Cuban was created by Audrey Saunders and answers the question, what if a mojito became a champagne cocktail? When creating this cocktail, she wanted to make something that was somewhat tropical, but not overly tropical. And then also something that was a kind of dressed up champagne cocktail. This is what came out and it is mwah, chef's kiss. Put six to eight mint leaves into the bottom of our tin. Then we're gonna do two dashes of Angostura bitters. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. I did this totally out of order. One ounce of lime juice one and a half ounces of Bacardi 8. Give it a nice muddle. Give it a shake. Strain this into our glass like so. Top it up with some bubbles. And let's give this guy a slappy and the crushy pants. And we're just gonna clip this guy. I love me a champagne cocktail, especially when they're good. And this, my friends, tastes just like a mojito. You got your lime, you got your sugar, a really nice choice of aged rum, a little bit of Angostura bitters for that spice and a little bit of complexity, also tamping down on the sugar a little bit. Everything's nicely balanced. And then instead of having soda to top it, you got a little champagne, nice and dry, lightly sweet, very well balanced. There it is, guys, the old Cuban. All right, guys, there you have it. Five more modern classic cocktails for you guys to make at home. Some of these guys are only three ingredients and they are so good. For this episode, I tried to pick some cocktails that have a little bit more complexity, but then also are kind of short on the ingredients. So you don't need to pick a lot of things up at the store to create them. And then also uh, using staples that you might just have in your pantry anyway. Today's pro tip is about traditionalism and not allowing your idea of what a drink should be limit you from making a lot of different 
different versions of drinks. Drinks like the Margarita, the Paloma have many, 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 many different versions. A lot of people get very stuck on how it should be made. Oh, it has to be made with squirter. It has to be made this way. It has to be made that way. To me, that just that whole thought process is incredibly limiting. You should go out there and just try all the different versions of whatever drink it is. And you might find something that really surprises you, something that you didn't know, something that inspires you. Why limit yourself to whatever the traditional recipe is? So hang up your inhibitions and go make some cocktails.